Imagine you had the following Python code. If the user hits enter when the password input is left empty, then our code will display nothing to the user. This leaves them stuck with no useful message on what to do next. This is the concept of validation, or is the user entering what we want into our program? Validation checks to ensure whatever the user enters is sensible and reasonable. This is to make sure that the user has clear guidance on why things are not happening as expected, and to ensure that our program code does not crash due to bad input. Validation will usually involve the use of an if-else statement and an error message. There are lots of different types of validation checks. We'll look at range, length, presence, format, and type checks. A range check is used on numerical data. It is used when your input needs to be within a range of values, i.e. between a smaller number and a bigger one. Let's look at the following code for dividing two numbers. If we enter zero for the second number, the program will error, as if you divide any number by zero, you get infinity. To validate this, we need to make sure that the second number is greater than zero. In other words, it is in a range of one or more. The key line of Python code is here in line three. You can see it checks if the second number entered is equal to zero and displays an error message if it is. A length check is similar to a range check, except it is for strings rather than numbers. It simply makes sure that an input is between a minimum and or maximum number of characters. We commonly see this used when setting a password, where we want to ensure that when a user sets a password, it is a minimum of eight characters. The key line of Python code is here on line two. You can see it gets the length of the inputted password and checks it is less than eight. If it is, then it displays an error message. So we've seen how to check whether the user has entered anything that is too big or too small. But why if they don't enter anything at all? This is where we use a presence check. We use presence checks wherever we have an input that requires data to be inputted. For example, this might be the email address or password field of a sign-up form. The key line of Python code is here on line two. You can see it checks if what the user has entered is an empty string. If it is, then it displays an error message. A format check is used to ensure an input is in the correct predefined format, i.e. what does it look like? We could use this on a postcode to ensure it has two letters, one to two numbers, another number, two more letters. Another place we might use a format check is on a date to ensure it has a format of day day slash month month slash year 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 year. Implementing format checks in code can be a bit more complicated than the other checks we've looked at, so we'll focus on a very simple example of checking a date has slashes in them. The key line of Python code is here on line two. You can see it checks if the string does not contain a slash. If it doesn't, then it displays an error message. A type check is when you make sure that your input is of a specific data type, for example, integers or strings. Let's say we had the following Python code, which simply adds 10 to any input number. If we were to run this code and instead of a number, we inputted the word Fred, then our program would crash. This is because we have tried to convert the string Fred into an integer, which it cannot do. To check for this, we use a special type of code called a try except statement. This is quite a bit different to what we've looked at before. Line one means that Python will try to run this code. If anything goes wrong, the code will jump to line five. Then it will run the accept code. So, Validation is where we check to see if data has been entered into our program in a sensible way. Range checks make sure that our data is within a range of expected values. Length checks make sure that our data is within an acceptable length. Presence checks make sure that our data is there. Format checks are where we make sure that our data looks a certain way. And type checks make sure that our data is the correct data type. 